The U.S. Supreme Court has delayed a decision on the availability of a common abortion drug until Friday, and three people have been arrested in connection with a mass shooting last weekend in Alabama. Good morning. I'm Corva Coleman from NPR News, and here are today's top stories. The U.S. Supreme Court has delayed a decision on the availability of the abortion drug Mifepristone until as late as Friday night. NPR's Marie Andrusevich has more. While the justices decide next steps on possible restrictions for the drug, some lawmakers continue to question whether the court should be involved at all. Meanwhile, GenBioPro, a company that makes a generic version of Mifepristone, has sued the FDA, saying the agency can't suspend sales of the drug, quote, regardless of attempts to interfere. NPR's Marie Andrusevich reporting. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is simplifying its COVID vaccine recommendations. Now, most people are considered up to date with one shot of the most current vaccine. NPR's Ping Huang explains. It doesn't matter how many COVID shots you've had in the past. What's important now, according to CDC, is whether you've gotten one shot of the updated vaccine that targets Omicron. That current formulation was released last August. The CDC's new recommendations align with the FDA, which streamlined the COVID vaccine schedule this week. Four out of five U.S. adults have not gotten the Omicron shot, so they're not considered up-to-date by this new definition. Authorities say that people who didn't get the shot in the past eight months should get one now or in the fall, when vaccine makers are expected to release a new batch of COVID vaccines that better match the strains circulating then. The CDC is also okayed a second shot of the Omicron vaccine for older adults and the immunocompromised who may be at higher risk of severe COVID. Ping Huang, NPR News. Multiple tornadoes plowed through Oklahoma yesterday, killing two people. There's severe damage reporting. The National Weather Service warns more bad weather is coming to the Central Plains today. Hailstones three inches wide or larger could fall. Three people have been arrested and charged in connection with last Saturday's mass shooting in Dadeville, Alabama. From member station WBHM, Richard Banks reports officials have not yet disclosed a motive for the shooting. A spokesperson for the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency says 17-year-old Tyreek McCullough and his brother 16-year-old Travis McCullough were arrested Tuesday night. Also, 20-year-old Wilson Lamar Hill Jr. was arrested Wednesday afternoon. All three have been charged with reckless murder and the shooting deaths of four people at a birthday party Saturday night. At least 32 other people were injured. However, District Attorney Mike Segris says it's not just those with physical injuries he's concerned about. There were so many kids in this venue and what they saw, um, it's their victims in this. They're their families are victims of this. Authorities are saying they expect more arrests to come soon. For NPR News, I'm Richard Banks in Birmingham. This is NPR.